Hi, this is George from Digital High Road. Today's video review is a product called WSO Optimization from Short Pixels. WSO stands for WordPress Speed Optimization. And this is about site speed to make your site faster. It's an area that a lot of people that use WordPress do not have any idea really how serious their site speed is and what Google looks at nowadays for site speed on their site. So it's going to be very important that if you are interested in having a fast site that's responsive both on mobile and desktop that would give this video a listen. I'm going to be going, break this video down to three sections. We're going to talk about the product from the sales page, what it presents, and number two, we'll talk about what I actually received, and then three, we're going to analyze the reports I got, and then in another video, a second video coming your way, we're going to show you exactly what I did, how I worked on this project on a WordPress site that they analyzed for me. So if you get any value from this video once you've watched it, please give me a thumbs up, like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is Digital High Road. I'm George, and let's move into today's video review, WordPress Speed Optimization from short pixels. So the sales page for WordPress speed optimization from short pixels looks like this. And it's simply making the case of tired of trying to make your site faster. And I know if you're like me, I tried all kinds of things. People would sell me plugins to make things different, make things better, and it didn't seem like anything was working. And then a couple of years ago, Google made it that mobile since mobile is over 50 percent of the action online today that they want everything to be mobile responsive and they want everything to be quick so what you're going to do with wso short pixels is, is that you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one specialist you're going to get three reports from them once you fill out the form you'll be getting back a word a website report beginning back a plugin report and then a database report and then you can take a look at that and you can decide whether you want to do that work your own self or you can contact them and have their specialist do the work for you that obviously will be an additional charge the sales page is just telling you simply what you're going to get you're going to get three reports they're going to analyze the report they're going to, they're going to analyze your website your web property for site speed and performance. And then I'm going to show you in the video here some of my results after I did some changes. And then you'll see more of them on the second video where I'm actually going to do the WSO short pixels plugin analysis and report for you. Okay, so with uh, WSO optimization, they will give you reports, three reports, website report. We check in 25 aspects, plugins report, database report. I found looking at the reports that they cover everything. And have you ever had the conversations where you go back and forth between you check with a plugin person, a plugin company? No, no, it's not the plugin. It's probably your theme. You check with the theme people or the page builder people, and they say, no, it's not the theme. It's the hosting. The hosting is the problem. So between the hosting, the plugin company, and plugins com colliding with each other, you don't know what to believe. So what we're going to cover today is we're going to cover what you get with the WSO Short Pixels site report and how it sets you straight on what is going on exactly with your website. So let's move into that. That's exciting. We're going to look at these reports closely and give them an overview. Okay, to start to try to explain where we're going with this video, we're going to talk about short pixels. Now back, I believe last December, there was a plugin out, a lifetime deal. I think it was on AppSumo. It's called Short Pixels. And there came the video. That's the video I did. What that did was that triggered the other day I received an email. And he's talking about a new service they have called WordPress Speed Optimization. It's by Short Pixels. So I then contacted Andrea, introduced myself, and proposed 
that I get free access to this product right here that they would give me free access and then we're going to set that up now because they did he did contact me and said yes they'd be happy if I did a video review of this so what I'm doing now is I did receive an email back from him and then he's talking here about what I need to do now to get started with this process. So what we're going to do with the rest of this video is going to be talking about the process of how to get this going and then we're going to review as an answer to what is a real problem today for website owners which is not having the correct speed of their site. So let's see about if this is an answer to your site speed problems why the heck is website speed so important to a google page well right here it just talks about it flat out why is it important to improve page speed page speed affects user experience which can make or break a site faster page speed makes for a better user experience and that obviously is what google is all about giving you a better user experience and everything I've talked about on my videos very often leads back to a better experience for the viewer. So this is an example. Now, how important is it to Google? Well, it's important enough that Google has a tool that they came out with a couple years ago called PageSpeed Insights. And what you can do is you can enter in a URL for a page or a website, and it'll give you results, a total analysis of your web page speed now here's some information they talk about this is documentation from Google about page speed insights they start going through everything all this technical blah 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 stuff that you look at and your eyes get crossed and you can't uncross them and it gives you a headache and you go well, this is so freaking boring but yes it's boring but it's something that's important to you as an internet marketer with web properties you want to always have these web properties WSO WordPress site optimized so that you have the best speed and the best user experience possible so what we're going to look at now is some of the report that they gave me back to improve and increase the page speed and site speed for my site. Now on the 29th, a couple days ago, I received this. We have finalized your site assessment. Please find the attached reports. They have a, they sent me three reports, a website report, a plugins report, a database report. What we're going to do now is look at those reports. Okay, number one was the site assessment, the total site assessment for westernhorsewriting.org. The website review, and then they cover the following areas. Plugin analysis, they go through and talk, optimize images, file cache, theme analysis, minimize CSS. Now, there's going to be a lot of terms here that aren't going to be, you won't be familiar with them. I'm not really. I am somewhat, but not enough to explain them. There's all just all kinds of terms that mean something. Clean headers, a website, remove capital P, dang it, filter. I have no clue what any of this is. We're going to be looking at this in more detail. In fact, I'm going to be doing a video about the plugin analysis and how to get your site more optimized for speed and security. That video will be upcoming can check in the upper right hand corner for that to take a look at that hosting review CDN review external resources optimization and pre-connect to external sites ads analysis disable WP Chrome use and that's it 25 areas that's the first report let's take a look at the second report Okay, the second report is the plugins review. Now, what it is, this is the area I am creating the video on and give you in details how to site speed, get your site speed up and to secure your site better. They go through and they give a whole bunch of information about plugins that I have currently. And when I do this, I'll show you what I have currently and the changes I made and why I made them. But they go through all the plugins I currently have on the site and talk about them and what they would change them to. So whatever your site has, they'll give you a report 
Okay, then the third report for your, your site assessment is going to be the database review. Databases are obviously very, very important. So what they're going through is they're going to go through everything on the database that they find is a problem or find it's good. They're going to tell you what's good, what's bad. And again, it's going to involve you learning about things on your own to figure out what best to do to get maximum out your you know, to maximize your WordPress site. You can see most of this has to do with metadata because that's what's in the database. You're going to have to figure out how this all applies. Here's some plugins. They make suggestions that you need to get rid of from your database to optimize site speed. Again, these are the reports. These are the three reports you get. We'll move on to the assessment of the plugins next. Okay, so what we're going to do next is I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I did for the plugin assessment and what you get with the report. And then after that, we'll just wrap this video up and give you my feelings on the assessment product, WSO Short Pixels Site Performance. Okay, so what I've done is I've analyzed this report. And what I did was I took a notepad and I went through and I copied down every one of these plugins that was reported in here and I listed them all out and now this is the way I do it this isn't the way you would have to do it plug is plug and report for short pixels site speed report and it's from the site it is and then took I listed all all out and there were I believe 14 plugins of the 29 15 were considered core what they considered core parts of the site so here's the plugin is part of the core functionality of website no need to change or remove i'm sorry 15 of 29 plugins but there were 14 plugins that were listed as being a problem so what i did was i listed them all out on a notepad for myself once i had them counted out listed out i then put them in priorities i went and looked for the high ones these are the ones we're going to tackle first. There's three of them that were high. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and there were five that were medium. Now the rest were low. They're on the report. But right now we're going to tackle the high priority ones and then the medium priority ones. Check with these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to find what the answers are for each one of these. And I'll go through a plugin at a time and I'll change it to what the report says. Whatever it is, I'll follow the directions in here the best I can. And we'll, we'll record all that for you so you could see that this is what happens with one site. We're going to move on. So thanks for watching and thank you for looking at what we covered today. We covered the importance of site speed and what Google, what Google puts as an importance on it. We covered the sales page for WSO short pixels, and I actually showed you the process of setting up in the reports. Briefly looked at the reports they sent me. So if you did get some value from this, we'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up, like the video for what we gave you today. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new to our channel. I'm always trying to publish new videos that will help you in your walk and your growth as an internet marketer. So keeping that in mind, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time that I publish a new video. We'll let you know that there's a new one out there to be looked at. And I want to thank you for watching today. Don't forget before you leave that there is a Taking Action Online free step-by-step, -step, 12 steps. Right here, these 12 steps free access is available today. Click the link down in the description. If you are overloaded with information, if you're confused about how to make money online and you'd like to start making money online, click that link, get access today to the free 12 step-by-step -step program, training program. Thank you for watching today. God bless. Talk to you later.